Hi guys, so I have a quick question, and it's about the Omarosa tapes. I've never done a reading on her. I don't really care about her, um, and but it's just I was like, oh, kind of interested, kind of interested in these tapes. Okay, is this just some PR stunt? Are these tapes real? What do they show? And are we gonna hear them? Okay. So, you know, it tells me everything I need to tell was kind of, it's kind of funny. So, so anyway, so it shows that, you know, there's Trump, he's vulgar in, you know, everywhere he goes. And then he's in there and he's like, he's using racial epithets. It's true. He's saying all these horrible things about people. And there she is. She's like, an office. She's like, hmm. oh, <laughs> let me get my recorder thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, because I feel like you know, then she's playing it up on my heart mind. She's like, oh my Rosa. She saved the African American community. I'm gonna release these tapes and I'm gonna become a hero. And the African American community, I will. <laughs> Omarosa, Omarosa. Repeat after me, Omarosa, Omarosa. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm special. I am. Uh -huh. Omarosa. So, guys, I'm sorry to say, okay, <laughs> also, that was a joke. <laughs> so, I feel like, honestly. She has these tapes, and it's it's Trump saying racist things. But I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, my. Are you serious? No. Like, it's we know that. That's not shocking, okay? It might be that for, I guess, oh, really? Oh, my God. Wow. But what I think, so that's it, okay? She has him saying, tapes of him saying racist things. Now, I'm not surprised that these tapes exist. I'm not surprised that she recorded them. But it's a little strange that she just now realized, like, and I saw her, him, guys, talking to her and Trump talking to her before as she was working in the White House. And she's trying, he's like, hey, Amorza, can you get, I don't know. it's like, I have a sense that he wanted her to try and change the opinion of prominent african-american people you know to go with him so for example i mean serious people okay and he's just like he's saying such racist things to her she knows that what he's acting in a very racist manner and the fact that she she it didn't bother her before but then she decides to it's kind of like her whole agenda is optics okay in the sense that she's like she knows he's asked her very racist things and she's I have a sense that she's almost like she, she's like, hey, uh, uh, let's, let's do all these black people. They're just kind of like always complaining about something. Like, I don't know what, I don't know how, like, I don't know exactly what he was. He said something like that. Like, oh, why can't this person, you know, just like, are they like so jealous of me? Why are they? And it's so weird that she knows what he's saying is something. He's always been like this. And he said many, many racist things to her. But only now did she decide to record it. Okay, this doesn't make sense. So it's like she was totally fine with his racist stuff before. And now it's like, oh, I need to rehabilitate myself to be the queen again. Embrace me. I'm a Rosa. My Rosa. I'm a Rosa. This is me. I'm a Rosa. I feel like I'm like a performance artist, sort of. but you know what I mean, guys. I feel like, and I hope you know, I don't mean it in any negative way, but I just that's what I feel like. I feel like she was totally fine with anything, with everything else that happened before. It seems like, but she recorded it as a means to kind of both get even because she felt like she was entitled 
specific things, but as also as a means to try to re rehabilitate her image. Okay, and she feels like she, it's almost like, I also feel like she has a sense of entitlement about, she feels like, again, I'm special. I'm very special. I'm more awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. Successful. I have an MBA. No, I don't know if she does, but I'm just saying. But, um, I don't know, guys, it's kind of, I feel like she just, she has a self-image. Like, she plays movies in her own head of, like, she's like, she's like, and I was walking, I was in the crowd, and then people were like, wow, there's Oma Rosa. And I'm on stage, and people are like, Oma Rosa, Oma Rosa, Oma Rosa. So, it's kind of like she has a sense of, like, a very highly insane inflated sense of her self important you know she's very like that so so that's that guys okay so she does have these tapes and it's tapes of trump in the background saying racist things but i don't think that's very shocking to be honest what is shocking is that she knows she he's racist he has said very horrible he racist things to her he has asked her to do things that are obviously against the goodwill like not the goodwill to essentially do things that are harmful for her own community, right? She didn't, she kept, she stayed there. She was fine. She didn't have a problem with that. So, so now she wants to, it's like she feels that not only she could rewrite her history, but that she feels in her mind, it's like that expression, legend, legend in her mind, but she feels that in her own mind she could suddenly be like, she just like be like, oh, I'm going to be welcome again. Oh yes, everyone's going to love me. I am Omorosa. I am special. That's what I think. Okay, so so what happens after the, the tape is released? What do people think? I don't, honestly. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I want to say something. Sounds kind of funny, I guess, or pathetic. But I think people are going to think what I'm thinking. Like... I don't think the, th the thoughts I'm having are particularly like groundbreaking. I think many people seem to have the same, have thought the same thing about her. Well, if he's so racist and he's always been racist and he says so many racist things, why did you stay behind and now only record? It seems, I guess her motives are pretty transparent and people notice that. Okay. And the tone of her book is also very transparent. And people think it's funny that she has a sense of self. self it's I, I haven't I don't know about the book, but it's almost like the book. The tone of the book is something like she presents herself as some sort of civil, civil rights hero or something like that. Okay, but I don't think uh -huh. I don't know that it's people accept it. <laughs> Last story, is it fiction? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to like hold off with Omar Rose because I remember, you know, guys. I still, I remember. I, I know, I, I'm old enough that I remember when she was on the. I've never watched it, but I remember the controversy around her. <laughs> so I remember that she was very like everybody hated her on that show or something like that. I remember this. I don't know. It's like, oh, really? Oh my god! Not that it matters, you know. But I feel like she. I'm not surprised. Okay. Anyway, but anyway, so that's Douglas. Oh, yeah. Huh? Okay. Okay, bye.